cup of tea? <laughs> Stupid, I cracked myself up. What is up guys, Alex with Fishing the Odds. Today we're gonna talk about three fishing knots you need to know. These are fishing knots that you can use in almost every situation. But before we get into that, hit the subscribe button. This channel is all about fishing and beautiful outdoors. The first fishing knot of the day is going to be the improved clinch knot. And I usually fish this with fluorocarbon. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this does not float. This, um, this line sinks. So this is great for fishing weightless stuff, you know, in slower moving water like a Texas rig or a wacky rigged Senko, you know, things, things that sink, subsurface, they call it. So, first thing we're gonna do is grab, grab a hook. It doesn't have to be a hook like this. You can use all kinds of hooks, offset hooks, you know, swim bait hooks, anything like that. This is a really diverse um, fishing knot. So, you're just gonna push that in through, just like that, okay? You're gonna bring it back, so you have that. You're gonna hold it right here, and you're literally just gonna grab this line, wrap it around five to eight times. Once you do that, once you have all those wraps, you're gonna take the tag in, go through the loop and what you do when you go through that loop is you've created another loop right here you want to go back through that loop okay pull the tag in get it wet and cinch it all the way down now why use fluorocarbon for an improved clinch knot is because it cinches perfectly you don't get no friction or nothing like that I mean, it's just nice, nice and tight. So that is knot number one. Knot number two is the famous Palomar knot. So for this, you want to use monofilament or braided line. Now for this example, I'm going to use braided line and I got this, I, I forget what pound test this is, but it's probably like 15 pound braid. <clears throat> and you want to, this is the same thing as the improved punch knot. You can use whatever hook you want. Um, bass fishing, salmon steelhead, whatever. So you wanna take your line, fold it in half, and just make this loop before you even go through the eyelet. So once you've made that loop, you're gonna grab your hook and you're gonna go through the eyelet in your hook. So basically what you've done is you've just doubled up your knot, doubled up the strength, right? So. Pull it through where you're comfortable with making a loop. And then you just take this end, make a loop like that. Take your tag end here, the doubled up side. Go through that loop that you've made. Okay. And when you go through that loop, you've created another loop here. You're gonna take your hook, push it through that loop, and then cinch it down. This is a super tough, super tough knot. When you get done with that, clip your tag in and you're good to go. So for this, I would fish anything like uh, top water, Flipping, punching, pitching, you know, anything like that, you know, fishing a jig. Um, fishing in areas where like there's there's a lot of cover, grass, you know, you're fishing across riprap and tree trunks and things like that, you know, lay downs, stuff where you're gonna be coming across structure. And if you are gonna be coming across structure, use braid because braid's tough. It's, it's a bit tougher than monofilament and fluorocarbon, so. Palomar knot, tough knot, big fish, braid, or monofilament. So third knot of the day, last but not least, is kind of a more specialty knot. It's called the Snell knot. So I usually use this use this knot for like flipping or bottom fishing, you know, anything with kind of like a sensitive bite because this knot helps you 
set the hook. So basically, after you tie your knot, you want to use a straight shank hook, by the way. But after you tie your knot, when you tug, you know, set the hook, it flips the hook up like this and kind of just nudges it into their uh, the top of their mouth. Hopefully, you know, you don't always hook them in the top of the mouth, but you pull the you you set your hook and it brings the hook up and helps you set. Some guys will argue that it doesn't really help, but in my opinion, I think it does give you that extra little bit, you know. Sometimes you do need that extra little bit. It might help you land one more fish in your boat or on the rocks, wherever you're fishing. So for the snell knot, you want to take your hook and take your line, and you want to go through it this way. Not this way. Okay, you want to go through it this way. So push it through, pull enough out. You're going to put it parallel to the long part of the hook okay you're gonna put a bend in it right where the bend of the hook is so then you have something like that basically you created a loop right there so then you're gonna grab it like that take your tag end wrap it around five to eight times and you want to go through that little loop that you have there okay once you go through that loop You want to pull the tag end against your main line. And it'll bring all those little loops all the way down to your eyelet right here. So basically, I don't know if you could see that, but the way that your line goes through this is when you set the hook, it, it brings it up this way. So it actually helps you set the hook, like I was saying earlier. You kind of want to use more of a rounded hook like this. You don't really want to use the one I was using in my example, but this is kind of all that I have because this is like a jig. Oh, because this is like a jig for a swim bait. So use something a little bit more round, and in my opinion, it will help you set the hook. Thank you guys for watching this video, and like I said earlier, these are three fishing knots that you can use in almost any situation. They are very diverse and Please, please, like, comment below, or dislike, you know. But if you do comment, tell me what I did right, tell me what I did wrong. You know, I want to learn just as much as you guys. P.S. I just had a newborn baby girl. She's the most beautiful thing on this planet. I will show you guys. Here's mama. Here's little Charlie. Uh -huh. You're so beautiful, Charlie. She's sleeping. She's so beautiful, little angel. Snuck in on mama. Snuck in on baby. My daughter's gonna be a fisherman. Got my little duck feeding friends here watch this watch this oh yeah <laughs> I'll give it to that lonesome guy out there there he goes <laughs>